Thursday, first day of week one, term two, year two. I'm feeling a little bit rough this morning actually. Two of my supervisors insisted on buying everyone more beer last night. And I've picked a terrible route here. It's really muddy. It's about quarter past ten at the minute because I don't have a lecture at ten o'clock like I usually would because Tuesday and Thursday mornings this term are going to be reserved for group project time. But I do have a supervision at 11 o'clock and then a lecture at 12 o'clock and then the group project briefing at 2 o'clock, I think. I haven't had breakfast yet, so I'm going to get that at the lab when I get there. Hi, let me just interrupt the vlog for a moment. I might do this a few times to give you some more information about things, specifically this time, the group project. The group project is something we do this term instead of some of the lectures and it counts towards our grade at the end of the year. This all started last term when we got given the project design briefs. We could choose three of our favourites and put them down to be our preferences. The three I chose were Soundgarden was my first choice, which is a project which takes some fancy garden somewhere in Cambridge, puts infrared sensors around and then we had to use the data from people walking past those sensors to generate original music which would then be played to the people in the garden. My second choice was Project Darknet which uh, is like some sort of theatre show and you have to trick the audience into thinking that they've been hacked uh, so that sounded pretty cool. And my third choice was Purchase Abandonment Predictor. That's a project which tries to predict whether someone is going to abandon their purchase on a website and if they are give them a coupon to try to encourage them to continue and to buy the thing. So I had to wait around in the lab for a while for the, the project briefing and then we all went into the lecture theatre, they passed around sheets of paper which told us which project we got and I got Soundgarden which was my first choice so that was great. Each group for the projects has six people in and we're meant to spend 60 hours each working on the project this term. Each project has a client who we meet with a couple of times throughout this term. And the way Soundgarden works specifically, the project, is we get this data from the infrared sensors and then we have to use some sort of regular grammar and graph traversal of the people walking around the paths to then generate the music. Also members of the public need to be able to go to a website and adjust and play with the, the regular grammar themselves and generate their own music based on the same people walking around the garden. It's all quite complicated, harder than I thought actually, but that's what I'll be working on for quite a lot of time this term. I'm meeting with my group again on Saturday, but for now I'm done for the day, so back to college. And I don't really have any work to do either yet, so, so that's nice. Tonight we've been working on our executive summary, but I'll tell you more about that later. And I've been pressured into drinking more beer. Good morning. It is Friday. A few more lectures today than yesterday. Three new courses. Computation, theory, databases, and networking. And I can't say I'm looking forward to those. It's going to be three hours of hardcore theory. I've just got the lecture notes for these courses today. And they're so long. Twelve lectures of computation theory. I wonder how many lecture slides that one covers. There better not be one lecture. Computation theory first. Our toilet won't stop flushing. It just keeps filling up and emptying itself, and this has been going on for hours now. This thing opens, but then it's screwed down underneath. Female maintenance, but God knows when they'll get back to me. So I'll have to live with flowing water in the toilet for a while. 
We were supposed to have a supervision this afternoon, but we handed the work in and it didn't make it to the supervisor on time. So he hasn't marked it yet, so that's been postponed until next week, which gives me a nice relaxing afternoon again. And tonight we're going to the cinema to see The Wolf of Wall Street, so I'm looking forward to that. The never-ending flushing toilet is driving me mad. It's now 25 to 5 on a Friday night and maintenance haven't replied to me yet, so I don't think they're going to fix it and I don't think they work over the weekend. It's going to flush non-stop until Monday. <laughs> We are making food tonight instead of going to the buttery. Well, I'm not personally, I'm having my meal made for me. Page feature, I mean chrome. Mm. We finished dinner quite quickly, and now we're off to the cinema. It starts with an itch and a tingle, and then it builds and expands. And suddenly all at once, my legs won't let me stand. This escalator is still not work. This has been broken for at least a year. It's, it's much stranger than you think to walk. To go backwards. How is this even like legal? Damn it. Yes. Look, it just says screens one to five down here. We need seven. We're lost in the cinema. Okay, back upstairs. Yeah, we pretty much walked straight past it. That was probably one of the best films I've ever seen. I would definitely recommend you see The Wolf of Wall Street. Really incredible film. So it's half 11 on a Friday night. And this is how busy it is in the centre of Cambridge. Pretty quiet. It's the weekend now. I've had a nice lie in today. The toilet is still flushing. But now I'm going to the buttery for brunch. At weekends, they combine breakfast and lunch into one meal. All the stuff on that table looks horrible. This stuff looks better. So we're off to the university centre to do some work today. I've never been, but apparently it's quiet and we can work there. Oh wait, is it this building right, just right behind? I take that back. I have been here before. Yeah, I remember this building. I always thought it was someone else coming up the stairs, like at the other side, but it's just a mirror. flushing before I'm even in the room. Still going. Right now I'm just finishing off my prologue assessed exercise. This was something we had to do over Christmas and I have to submit it next week. We have to write some prologue which gives a solution to how to turn these six jigsaw type pieces into this dice like cube. Tonight I'm off to Churchill for the first time actually. I'm sorry if you can't see me, it's really dark. But I'm going to Churchill to meet with my group project team. <laughs> Well, this place at the side of the road looks a bit dodgy. Heval Silo Kebab. What even is that? I think this is Churchill, but God knows how I get in. Don't really know where I'm meeting anyone either. The seeds have been buried deeply. The roots are in place. It's flat in the sun and it's dark in my day. back to Queenstown. Churchill's not actually too far away. Met with my team, talked a bit about the project, and then we went to the bar, and now I'm, now I'm here, obviously. Probably meet with them again on Tuesday, but I'll see them all in lectures. 
I've just had the brilliant idea of turning the light on for these dock videos. Why didn't I think of this before? Actually, it probably makes me look even more strange. Walking down the street, arms stretched out, talking to myself with a light shining in my face. But there's nobody around, so it's okay. So yes, for those of you who have asked, I still feel a little bit silly vlogging in public. Before the end of this video, I want to take the opportunity to say a few things. Firstly, thank you all for watching these vlogs, it means a lot to me. And I've had an overwhelming number of questions about Cambridge. I'm finding it really hard to keep up with all of the questions at the minute, so if you've got a question, I want you to do a few things to help me. Firstly, if you leave a comment on one of my videos, only leave the comment on one video. I read all of the comments. Leaving the same comment on three videos to try to get my attention doesn't help. If you send me a message on YouTube, please be aware of the feature on YouTube that stops you from receiving messages from people who aren't your contact or your friend or whatever Google calls it. Just because you've sent a message to me, it doesn't mean I'm in your contact list. I often can't reply and I don't find that out until I've spent 15 minutes typing a reply and then I click send and it doesn't work. So check that first, please. That's, that would be nice. If you ask me a question at all, please be patient. It takes me a while to get through them all and get back to you, especially if you ask a really long, in-depth question. But yeah, in general, I'm happy to answer as many questions as I can. Remember, I'm not the only source of information. You can contact colleges and departments and the admissions office for Cambridge as well to give you a different perspective on life at Cambridge. And on that note, thanks for watching.